Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got a branded deck profile for you today. I've not been playing branded a lot recently. I've actually been playing Spriggans, hence why there's been um, a deck list for it. Um, and then another one coming after this. But um, this is what I was playing before I jumped to Spriggans for a little while. Um, the reason I'm not playing this is just because I'm super unlucky and just everyone seems to open Ash against me. And the less you play the Edge Imp stuff, then it's kind of bad because um, you can't really play around. I know there's other things like people are playing the Deer Servant, which I might try, um, and they're playing Fusion Deployment. I even play three crossouts and I still don't open it and I just get ashed endlessly. Um, so that's why I don't really like Despia at the moment, um, which breaks my heart because I love this deck. Uh, and if you've been around on the channel a lot, then you'll know that I've played this deck since it was released. Um, I, I actually got the secret versions, the one that say um, Despia Spell Trap. I got them for £20 each when they first released. So um, yeah, I love this deck. Um, I'll probably always play it, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, we just got to find a good way to play around Ash, really. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Um, not too much changes with Despia, to be fair. Um, and soon, coming to the end of the um, lore, there won't be much other changes, realistically. Um, play three, Aluba, the, the Jester of Despia. So we all know what he does, adds Branded Spell or Trap. He's like key to the combo. Or to the deck. Um, I played one Despian Tragedy and one Adlib. I cut Dramaturge just because I was bricking so much. Um, I just wanted to cut out some bricks and just try to hopefully get into like cross outs or called by some way to play around or stop Ash <laughs> realistically. So just one of each. Um, I would probably want to bump up Tragedy to two just because it just feels the best. And Adlib, I oh, kind of just like you never really add it anymore. So I actually kind of think that maybe just three Despia and two Tragedy, th three um, Aluba and two Tragedy is probably the best ratio just because you use these as extra resources or a way to get to brand diffusion, not actually the way they used to be used as like actual fusion material. And um, that's not really what they're used for anymore. Um, uh, I play two Cartesia, sorry for the one Starlight and the one not. Um, I actually still think that two is the correct amount. Um, I know people play one, but if you play against Cash and they banish it, um, then you, your fusion deployment now only summons Albaz and it's kind of dead. So yeah, and the Dusk Dragon is so good in your extra deck that I think that you need to have access to it always. So yeah, two Cartesia. Um, I was only playing two Albaz for a while, um, just because of space really, but again I think this needs to go up to three. Um, in a future deck profile that I'm going to do, this will be at three, um, and I think that's kind of mandatory now. Um, then we've got two Macoria. Um yeah because I try to, I actually make the the new fusion a lot, Striking Dragon, because I've tried to make that quite a lot, um, I think two is necessary, but I think I'm actually gonna cut that for a future deck profile and then cut one of these as well. Um, just just again, to reduce the numbers in the deck and try to have more ways to play around Ash. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and make something a bit creative with Branded next. So yeah, two Macoria, I actually think this is really good. Um, can add you and stuff, so yeah. And one Spriggan's kit. I just think this is just this is just another way to get into your engine. So this is can also help you play around things. Um, so I actually like it as a one-off. Um, one Albion. I think too many of this is a brick. It's only really good if you play high spirits. But then high spirits just uh, I don't know. I don't really like that very much. But yeah, one Albion. Um, then for the Beast Jewels, just one Lubelion and one Saranir. Again, I'm actually thinking of cutting the Sarony and just playing the Lubelion to get for Lost. Um, but then if you open this, the discard is kind of shit. So, um, yeah, I'll have to have a little think about that, to be fair. Um, one Dark Magician because it's Dragoon. Like, if you can make Dragoon early doors, you can actually hard make this if you open this, Albaz and Cartesia. You can actually hard make this 
and then imagine that and then activating brand infusions so good it's fucked um hand traps if you do get ashed you need to be able to stop your opponent so nibiru i think a lot of people are not are like our oh, people are sod in nibiru so actually maining it is a lot better it's still good against a lot of people and it's actually for some reason really good against sprite now because i know they can make gigantic but a lot of people actually go for the sprint play first so they summon two they'll make the sprint sprint will send angler angler will summon two they can now be nibbed so it is actually really good um in my opinion um and then the last ones two ash this is basically i'm just playing two for cross out if you play one and you open it cross out's useless so i just play two and again it's only good against branded in my opinion um and then infinite impermanence um just as another interruption um yeah i just i just like it that's it for the hand traps so into the spells of course we are playing three branded fusion um yeah just sucks that it gets ashed obviously this is getting an ultimate so that's going to be so bad like that's going to be so expensive um but yeah it'll probably get lit i think they they're, they're going to hit branded but they'll hit expulsion and i think they'll hit this um i think they'll put branded fusion actually i think they'll leave branded fusion i think they'll hit opening or aluba because realistically this just gets ashed but i think they'll hit aluba um some way consistency but i don't actually think they'll hit branded fusion in my opinion it's so easy to stop um three branded opening um this card is so shit to draw um go in like second no not going second like um turn three so but it's such a good card opening and the artwork is wild um yeah i can't believe that this card is still in um, from like the beginning of the deck so yeah happy with that um one lost hopefully in the tins this gets a re gets a bump uh, upgrade bump like i can't believe this is still not being in an ots um as a super at least um hope, i think it's gonna mo maybe get a secret in the tins that'd be so nice um but lost is fucked so yeah you have to play one um then one each of the red and the white in my new build that i'm actually considering to go back to how branded used to be cut the white and play two red or something like that um just for more things because white is actually not great if you open it um then like i mentioned three cross outs um and the one called by so yeah this is this this is what i've got to stop ash like it's, it hurts that you have to play four cards in your deck to i know some people don't and they just play like fusion deployment and stuff like that which i also do play but um if you if you resolve branded fusion you've usually won it just gives you so much resource and so much um, advantage so i think playing four cards just to stop just to make sure that card goes through is just is just very very good in my opinion um then three fusion deployment summon your cartesia um if you get ashed then this is the way to play around it um it does neg you a lot more if you say like open albaz and you have to summon cartesia from this and you fuse into your mirror jade and do your plays that way that does neg you a lot more than obviously using branded fusion but um at least you're not at least you've got something and then last two spells uh, one foolish burial and one gold sarcophagus again this is just a way to just get things going if you get um if your brand of fusion gets ashed do you know what i mean so yeah i think i uh, play like that and then the last card is branded retribution um just being able to add your brand of fusion back or add them back anything that goes to the graveyard the obviously branded and white combo that you can do to add this and branded and white and then on like crazy board um that can obviously still be good so yeah one branded retribution uh, no expulsion in the main just because if you go first then you if you um, lose a dose roll in game one and they go first and you open expulsion and retribution, then you're only playing with four cards. So yeah, uh, that is in the side. Over to the extra deck. One of the best cards in the extra deck, one Grand Mole, the Dusk Dragon. Um, don't know why it's the Dusk Dragon when she's a spellcaster, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, this card is so good. It can actually un unbreak hands and just get you into a lot of things. So, yeah, I do I do like it. 
Um, Striking Dragon, this is probably one that I might cut just because, yeah, the the negate bounce is is really nice, especially when you can like bounce up bounce your own cards for like recursion and stuff. But um, to make it, you just don't get enough benefits and pluses. So it's something that you definitely need to think about. Um, two Mirror Jade. Um, one more can say she's absolutely he's absolutely busted. Like Mirror Jade is such a good card. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they'll limit Mirror Jade, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that. Um, I was still playing Tulu Bellion. Um, I'm actually going to cut it because listening to what other people say, like if you've got like Dust Dragon, if you've got Chimera, if you've got Dragoon in your extra deck, Mirror Jade, you are not going to be banishing Lubellion. So this could definitely be cut to one and it gives you another flex spot. And then two Albion. Um, yeah, you have to play at least two. I think one is just not enough. You have to play at least two. Um, yeah, and then the last, like, Albaz Fusion is um, Titanic Lad. Um, oh, shit. I got all my cards. Yeah, so, obviously, it's absolutely... F yeah, so Titanic Lad, the reason Titanic Lad is in here, actually, is just because you can make it massive. Um, so, there's actually an Earth Machine guy at my locals, and he plays obviously Dora. You can't be over Dora, it makes itself unaffected, so you can't super poly it, you can't mirror jade it. But you can make Titanic Lag like 42 um, by using Albion the Shrouded and like any other thing. You could even use things like Chimera, which is a level 9, um, and you can obviously make bigger things. So, obviously, it gains 100 attack for each. So, Albion in the graveyard counts as Albaz, so if you send it with Brand Fusion. That also makes you makes you titanic lad um so you can do it that way but usually you have to send make um lubellion then discard a card and shuffle back the albion and um albion the shrouded from the main deck and then another level eight or something in this case 16 it's on 41 40 41 attack so yeah then you can beat over the door um so yeah that is that is a way um this is how you don't die to Psychic and Punisher as well. Um, someone had a game and it was like, if I attacked with anything else, I die. But I attacked with um, Titanic Lad. I got down to like 200 life points. Then a Mirror Jade banished it and then I attacked him for game. So, like, Ash Dragon can come in like clutch sometimes. Then, uh, I still play two. Um, Masquerade and one Quiritus. I actually just like Masquerade. I just think that some decks, you don't need to make Mirror Jade. You don't need to go like super crazy. You can just go double Masquerade pass um, with like maybe like a couple of hand traps or um, like a branded red set or um, just something like that. So, or Cartesia on the field. So, double Masquerade, I actually think it's just like that gives your opponent seven effects. Six? Six effects it gives them. Um, so sometimes double masquerade can just be busted. Um, then for the last three fusions, um, one Chimera. Um, it's obviously very good. I only really make this against a back row deck. I'm not gonna lie. I don't make it against like you can deal with monsters so so easy with the rest of your your deck. But yeah, I you need this to deal with back row. Then one Dragoon, obviously, it's just busted. It's just so easy to make. You kind of have to play it. It's the only way you can easily play around, like, evenly match and stuff like that. So, for now, anyways. And then, yeah. And then last card is Dragostopelia. Um, yeah. Dragostopelia does come up sometimes, and you do need it, which is kind of annoying. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, one of those. Okay, guys. That is it for the deck profile. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Uh, after this, uh, don't, there will be another Spriggan's deck profile, and then I'll probably do another deck profile, which I'll show you guys, obviously, maybe another two after that, and then I'll have an updated um, branded deck because I'm just really not enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment. I'm not going to lie. like Especially at my locals, it seems to just be math mechs where they just play like fucking four hand traps and one star and you just can't play through four hand traps with like most decks unless you're cash or old tier um, but obviously they're fucked now um so it's actually you guys really enjoy like or you're just playing against stun decks so you guys really not enjoyable at the moment 
but um, yeah, so I will be playing Branded just to try and see because at least if I'm getting ashed, I'm going to enjoy playing Branded because I enjoy the deck. So maybe that will help me have fun at Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you want to enjoy your hobby, right? You don't just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! just to win. I, I do like to have fun while I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Winning is always good, but you just want to have good games, good fun. I don't mind having a backwards-forwards game with someone, and then if I lose, at least if you still had a backwards-forwards game, it's disappointing to lose, but at least you still had fun. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's my list at the moment. There will be a new one coming soon. Um, watch out for that. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.